Good evening, my name is Jorge Rodriguez. I'm currently taking the master's degree in English language teaching with autonomous learning environment at the University of La Sabana. So today I'm going to speak a little bit about my profile. So let's begin. Okay, so here, um, sorry. Here, I'm going to give, uh, give my conception about learning. So basically, there are three aspects to take into account um, upon that frame of uh, learning conception. So there are motivational process, contextualized concepts, and collaborative learning. In terms of motivational process, uh, people motivate themselves when, as facilitators with set attainable goals. So when they reach those goals, they finally get an outcome that ensure their proper learning process. And in terms of the contextualizing concepts, the student, uh, there are two important aspects to take into account. Where's the where the first one is to focus on a problem solving, and the second one to open mind to self-regulated learning. So here the students are both self-regulated, and we. Avoid that the student only listen, so we lead them to contextualize a concept, to get involved into uh, what the teacher is saying. And finally, we have collaborative learning, in which the students share point of views and strengths to build up knowledge. In terms of the question, what is important learning for my life? Well, simply because the smile and satisfaction of a student is the satisfaction of the teachers as well, and that's priceless. Okay, uh, in terms of my strengths and weaknesses, uh, my strengths as a professional and um, a person, uh, I have to mention four. I'm very creative uh, and quite friendly, so when someone needed, required from help, whether it's a teacher or student, I always uh, for them, uh, also I really good at working and in groups uh, because I have a really high conception of collaborative learning. So I'm also dedicated and devoted to my work because uh, simply because I love teaching, right? And in terms of academic strengths, I love reading. I'm also dedicated, and I have a world report which means that I tend to provide a lot of opinions even when sometimes I see it seems I'm talking too much. Uh, in terms of my weaknesses as a person and a professional, I have to admit that I'm so emotional, right? So when I get frustrated, I get so depressed. Oh, I tend to get angry, especially with colleagues, not with students, surprisingly. Uh, I also get impatient a lot of times when I don't get something as I want it uh, I tend to get frustrated or if I don't solve a problem quickly I get impatient I also get frustrated as well and also get um, techno stress which is one of the main problems I have especially with this subject and when I don't understand something I'm really behind in terms of uh, something regarding to technology uh, that causes me stress and I usually feel overwhelmed like right now <laughs> and academic weaknesses uh, well management of time has been, been a problem in this semester because I'm doing a lot of things and so hopefully I can get even with it uh, also too forgetful which in terms of homework is, is a problem to me and lack of instruction, this is something in terms of the, my duties and the, my activities, which sometimes I don't organize as the way I'm supposed to. Alright. My resourcefulness to find information and use it in a learning context. Well, there are three uh, aspects that I mentioned here. Uh, first, uh, it usually takes me a while to find information. That's because I'm really demanding. 
I don't satisfy with the first piece of information that I found on the web. So it usually me prefer or rather to go through the whole web to find something that really fulfills me, especially for this master degree. Or sometimes when I'm looking for something that I think that might be useful for my classes at school. Um, also, to that, during this master, I have learned to sort out information, and that's because of my research project, because I have to go through a lot of readings, so that means that I have to search a lot of information regarding to my project. So I have learned to sort out uh, webs of information that really uh, fulfills my research project. Uh, also, um, I'm not an expertise in, in web tools. Uh, however, I know how to use programs such as GoAnimate and Bulber, which are animation programs, which are quite interesting and dynamic for my classes. And that's why students like my classes a lot, because I have used a lot of those programs. All right. And uh, my interest in motivation usually comes from satisfaction of achieving a goal, right? When I achieve a goal, I feel eager to learn more and that increases my motivation as well. In terms of my learning style, I have to admit that I learn by doing, right? Because I'm really keen, I'm keen aesthetic, but also I am visual. Uh, it takes me a while to learn, but but when I go through something that really motivates me, and I usually do it by myself, even if I sometimes require for help from others. And also have a high conception that learning comes from experiences, right? So when mastering comes by experiences, is basically uh, learning uh, by contextualization. And that's something that, that we cannot uh, take for granted and also uh, something in terms of self-efficacy and that's regarding to your beliefs, your intention, your social models, right? Uh, your attitude to overcome problems and persevere to, uh, perseverance to achieve a, a result, a good result in terms of your learning process. Well, my planning skills, uh, I try to establish what Thornton said in terms of planning. So you have to plan, implement, and evaluate. I'm still working on it because sometimes I don't do things that they're supposed to. I actually do it backwards or, or and not to the structure because, to be honest, one of my weaknesses. And uh, in terms of these three aspects that you can see here, and time management has been an issue to me because uh, it's due to the plenty of activities that I have in my, uh, in my job at, uh, at the university. Uh, I haven't been able to manage my time. And I have to be honest, uh, this autonomous learning subject is a lot of time consuming and that's quite affected a lot. Because uh, I, have been, I haven't been able to manage the time with the subject and it has affects my other subjects as well. Uh, prioritization, well, I'm still working on it. Uh, I tend to list my goals, however, I'm not sorting out those goals by distant goals and, and proximal goals. So I'm not following what Chunk said, yes, and that sometimes I'm trying to accomplish that distant goal right away. And that's a big step because that get leads to frustration as it happens sometimes. So in order to achieve that distant goal, it's better to build up. And starting from the proximal goals and building up until you get to the big one. In terms of management skills, I believe that I'm good at it, especially in my classroom environment, uh, because I really have a really charming, to be honest. My also the use of visual, my visual, uh, visual resources and my body language, taking into account that I'm kinesthetic, helps a lot to catch the student's attention. So that's a good aspect in terms of my teaching process. When I'm stressed, well, uh, 
uh, to be honest, I just rather to take some time off sometimes when I'm really, really angry. I'd rather uh, take some time away uh, and wait to pull off so that way when I I can speak to the person I have the problem with. Sometimes I tend to drink water too or to listen to music as well. Uh, that works a lot. However, sometimes I got a, a problem and is that since I'm really, really impatient and when I see that I cannot solve the problem quicker, I get angry, frustrated, and I make the problem even worse. It happens sometimes to me, I have to admit it. Okay, in terms of my competences. Competences to work with others towards productivity. So there are three aspects that I uh, want to mention. The first one is taking into account Cohen. Um, this is an author that I have on my research project. And collaborative learning is a key. It's a key concept that we cannot forget as teachers because it helps to build that knowledge. And as teachers, we work together yes, based on the students' benefit and in our own benefit as teachers as well. We would share knowledge, we would share strengths and point of views. We're going to be able to build that something really important, which is knowledge. Working alone is not an option. Um, it helps, but it's not going to fulfill our teacher our learning experiences. Uh, this also, discussion leads to a satisfying product that's regarding to collaborative learning. Also, exploring in terms of a conclusion goal. The more that you explore, the better results that uh, you're going to get in terms of achieving a goal. Um, the curious that you get, the, the, the better that you do you're going to get contextualized into a concept. Uh, competences to troubleshoot situations. Well, I believe that first, uh, usually I try to find the core of a problem, um, but as I mentioned before, I feel frustrated sometimes because I try to find an immediate solution, and since I'm impatient, that's quite a problem. Uh, also, um, to understand the point of view, so that's what I try to do sometimes and try to understand the point of view of the other person. Sometimes when I feel that I cannot solve the problem, I ask for an advice for someone who can really help. Usually I find, try to find the wiser, a wise person, an old person, probably my dad or my mom sometimes. <laughs> and I'm still dealing with technical stress. That's a problem because I'm still feeling overwhelmed. Actually, with this one group, I'm overwhelmed. I'm frustrated. All right. Finally, I'm going to show my beliefs in success in terms of self efficacy. So I have three aspects that I found from Siegel and Chunk, and there are that uh, clarified purposes, attainable goals, which help the students to develop a proper learning process, shared experiences. As I mentioned before, experiences build that knowledge, right? And that's part of the contextualization as well. And finally, my beliefs in regard to goal setting. Well, this is, they must be specific, right? You need to know as a learner and as a teacher that the goals that you establish must be specific right? and understandable. Attainable goals, right? Uh, they must be able to uh, reach it because that's part of the motivation as well. As, as facilitators, we must motivate the students by setting attainable goals. And something that I would like to read, overly easy goals to motivate and generate self-regulation, right? Uh, that actually means that we have to build that knowledge from proximal goals to distant goals, right? And to be honest, sometimes I don't do that all right. And okay, thank you very much. I hope that you uh, learned something from my profile. And we'll see you next time.